Hi everyone, welcome to the 86th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will implement how to minimize the error in linear regression. So, what do we mean by this? First of all, this is the spread of my data. And uh, if we like say this is my like generalized linear model. Now, when we say this, how do we come to like we can also we can say that this line can be the like the best linear model line or this or this or this so everything here depends on the sum of square the residuals like when we say y cap okay y hat in fact y i is equals to actual value minus predicted value so actual value is so everything here depends on the residual sum of residual square of the residual so how we do how we get that the sum of the square of the residual we will say it as like this and we summation of all the points which is present here from i is equals to 1 to n and this is the squares of all the actual value of i y minus the predicted value so in this like linear model what we will do we will take the for each line all the possible lines which is like uh, around this point we will take uh, like the sum of the squares of the like residuals or what we can say the difference between the actual value and the predicted value if suppose this is the line this is my predicted line this is my predicted line so from each point we will take the sum of the squares from of this actual existing point okay and we find the sum of the squares and then we add it up and we'll see for the line which has the minimum the sum of this value which is minimum we consider it as the optimized value or the generalized uh, model and this is here square now how do we like uh, it is very tough to get manually or so how do we reach that so our equation of yi is suppose yi is equals to m of xi plus so what we'll do so this will be equal to our error is equals to summation of i is equals to this is my predicted what we are predicting is y cap okay so y i minus of so now what we need to do we have two parameters here so m and c so what we need to do we need to differentiate both b e with respect to m and similarly we will again differentiate with respect to c de by dc second time it will be with respect to c because we have two parameters here m and c and sometime it will be refers to as the weight of this linear model and this will also be equal to zero so if we execute this now what is e now if we execute this so uh, de by dm which is equals to if we uh, differentiate it with respect to m then it will be and again we have to do the differentiation of this inside term this full term minus of xi we'll divide leave this one for differentiating this with respect to c <coughs> now if we equate this equals to zero we will be left with the equation uh, i'm not showing the full derivation but i will show the partial derivation and if required please post in the comment section so as well i'll come up with the uh, full derivation of how it is being done how we will get the value of like similarly like from this equation we'll uh, get the value we'll get two equation uh, two variables m and c and then we will also uh, similarly we will uh, differentiate this and we will uh, so de by will get the value of mnc and we'll so, uh, solve two equation to get the value of mnc and then that we will use in our python program so de by dc is equals to 2 into summation of i equals to 1 to n and then will be the same for the first term yi minus minus 1 the differentiation of this thing this full thing with respect to c will be minus 1 and then this will be equated to 0 so this equation will this equation will take the shape of now the first equation will take the shape of this is my equation number 1 similarly we will solve the other equation and we'll give the equation number 2 for this equation similarly we will solve the equation number 2 and like e this equation and they will uh, get the equation number 2 and it will be n n which is equals to summation of i equals to 1 to n 
Now we need to solve these two equations. Once we solve it, once we solve this equation, it will take the shape something like this, where we can say m will be equals to whole square. Similarly, the value of c will be okay. Now, please note, like here, like once you will be solving the x bar, which is nothing but the sum of all the values, which is equal to one by n. Summation of i is equals to one by i is equals to one by x i. You can use it for y and for x y together. The same thing. Now after this, once we need to x substitute the value and then we will be left with the value of m and c as follows. M is equals to summation of y i. Okay. Then similarly, you can say c is equals to. So finally, we have got our the values of m and c and how we will use in our. I'll show you how we will use in our Python program. So in evaluating this, what we have done, first of all, in order to get the line which is a generalized line, which means for that line, uh, the sum of the square of the residual will be the minimal of all the existing lines. Like we have around. For a particular set of line, you will have around millions and billions of line. Out of this, which line is the line that will have the minimum value for the residual? In order to calculate that, we need to differentiate. We have to go for a partial differentiation first with respect to m and then with respect to c. Once we do that, and then we have to, uh, in order to get the minimal value, we have to equate that to zero. So for so differentiation with respect to m and again with respect to c, we have to do that. When we have to equate it to zero, and after that. We have to like what I have done. I have calculated the value of m and c, and then further I have uh, simplified it. How we will use in the dot product uh, when we are writing our Python code. So what we will do now? So this is this is the base for our code. Uh, and please note, in this program, I am not going to use the scikit-learn model for linear regression. This will be like how if you don't have any like library, how you can go to it from scratch. This is an ultimate intention of this session. So what I'll do, I'll import numpy as np and import matplotlib. Okay, and then what I will do, I will define my, uh, my own points like so now we are set with our arrays x and y both and what I will do, I will execute these two and I will see the shape of both x dot shape and y dot shape. Okay. So and what I will do, I will simply create plot, plt dot scatter plot x comma y. So this is my scatter plot. Okay. What I need to do now is create a generalized model by using the equation which we have created here. We have to evaluate the equation m and c, right? What is my equation? y is equal to mx plus c. So m will, it will be equals to, so first of all what we have m is summation of i is equals to 1 to n, uh, 1 to n y i x i, right? So that will be nothing but y dot dot of x minus now what is the other thing this is y bar is what y bar is my mean so that will be equals to y dot mean dot dot of this is not a dot product y dot mean into what is this summation of all the values of x i and y i right dot x dot sum This will be divided by what I am dividing. What is my denominator? This is like x i square. So this will be x dot of dot x. Like multiplying, we are multiplying x two times, right? X i square. So that is nothing but x dot dot of x minus what is this? This is x uh, x bar is what mean of x values so x mean 
into summation of x. So x dot mean and here okay that will come dot mean dot sum okay that will be multiplied by x dot sum right similarly here i think something is ha, this value will be multiplication y dot mean multiply with x dot sum this is value of m now what is the value of c c will be y dot mean now how we see why is what why is my y bar is my y like i have given x here right so y bar will be equals to 1 by n summation of y equals to 1 to n and y i so that that is what i am using here y dot mean n to x dot of dot x how we get this x i square right because it's already uh, like i have seen here x i square right that's why i given x dot of dot x minus what is the next value x mean n to what is this what is this value x mean into y x i right so we we'll say y dot dot of x which is again divided by we'll copy and paste this one so if we execute this we'll get the value of m this and c is this so this is nothing but my line will be the see intercept y intercept is nothing where from where my line will cut the y axis so line will come some just below 2 and here somewhere around here it will cut the line and m is nothing but my slope so my line generalized the line will be something here like this right so this is the if there are if we are dealing with uh, like equation where we have like two input variables and one output variables so in that case it will be y is equals to theta 0 plus theta 1 x plus theta theta 1 x 1 plus theta 2 x 2 in that in that case you have to differentiate it for three parameter theta 0 theta 1 and theta 2 and then you have to solve three equation and get the value and you can manually like uh, form the equation so now what we'll say the equation or uh, the my predicted equation will be y hat is equals to n m into x plus c plus c. this is my predicted value all the thing what it will come okay so if i execute this and now what i will do i will create a scatter plot uh, like plt dot scatter and then x comma y okay this is the initial like before plotting and then plt dot scatter plt dot not scatter plt dot plot and then x will be remain the same but instead of y i what i will do i will give y hat y hat is my predicted value so this is what i wanted to show and we already know i have already shown my in my previous sessions what is my r square value r square is nothing much but 1 minus sum of the squares of residuals divided by sum of the here the new sum of the square of residual will be for all the points like this point this point this point every point you have to divide it from the from the straight line and uh, subtract it from this and then sum it uh, the sum and then do the summation of the squares for all the differences whereas some of the mean will the mean of this point will somewhere lie around six or something here and then you take the squares of the from the mean okay the difference calculate from the mean and then square it and then add it all the point that's where you will get as sum of the square of the mean and then you get a value of r square so sum of the squares of residual will be equals to y y minus y underscore hat that is what we have calculated right 
and so this is because everything the convention so now okay some of the squares like if i calculate this what is this ssr this is s some of the square of residual and now what i will do sum of the square with respect to the mean which is equals to y minus y dot mean so if i do this 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 is what we have got r square r square value when we calculate this is equals to the square 1 minus whole square of r square which will be ssr dot dot of ssr okay and then divided by ssm from the mean dot dot of ssm then print r square so this is the accuracy of my model i hope you understand so let me just go through what they or what we have covered in this session so all we know the cost function is y i minus y i cap whole square right we already know this and we need to find the optimal solution means we need to find the line for which the sum of the squares of the residual is the least and we don't have any like manual method like or or through eyeballing it's very tough because there can be billions like millions of combination if you see because we can move through each radian like and then we have to check so we don't have to do this we have to simply differentiate and then like how i have shown here like you can follow this and once you get the value of m and c this x bar and y bar which play a big role in calculating this dot product I have how i have calculated here right so what i have done in this code is i have created an array x and y and not using the linear regression model from scikit learn i'm just showing you how you can achieve it manually okay even through pen and paper also you can achieve this so what we will do we will use the same like value of m and c what we have used uh, what we have got using the derivations and then before that we have just uh, plot our scatter plot how it look and then we have evaluated m and c followed by calculating the y hat which is nothing but my predicted value okay and then once i have got that i am just predicting the i'm just showing how my model will be this is how my model will be now once that is done what i am doing i am calculate i'm showing you how to calculate a uh, like value of r square edges and uh, uh, like using sum of the square of the residual by the sum of the square from the difference from the mean and that's how i have what i have done so Thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you feel there is some error, please post in the comment section and please provide a genuine uh, advice. So, thanks a lot and I'll be seeing you uh, in the next session where I will discuss the scenario of adjust uh, of r square is equal to 0 less than 0 and greater than 0 how it will be. So, see you in the next session. Thank you.